So this season, the Oklahoma City Thunder haven't been great, as they're currently the 13th seed in the Western Conference with a 20 and 27 record. But despite that, in my opinion, they have shown many signs that they have a great future. So in today's video, I'll be naming four reasons why I think the OKC Thunder have a bright future. Before we get into the video, I ask you to drop a like on this video as it does help my channel grow. Subscribe to my channel if you want weekly NBA content and to help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers. And comment on this video to start a conversation with me as I respond to all of my comments. And play that intro. The first reason I think the OKC Thunder have a bright future is because they are just a team that is filled with a whole lot of young talent. As in my opinion, they have a few players who could be all-stars, are really good starters and supporting players. They have a guy like Shea Gilders Alexander who I think has superstar potential, but I'll talk more about him later. This is a team with Lou Dort who is only 21 years old and is already one of the best perimeter defenders in the whole league. I don't necessarily think Dort has all-star potential, but I think he can be one of the better role players in the entire league who has a huge impact on the game, similar to what Marcus Smart is for the Boston Celtics. Dort is not a great offensive player as he averages 12 points on terrible efficiency, but I think when this team gets better, he can average 13 to 17 points per game, because you have to realize he's this team's second option and he's being forced to take shots that I just simply don't think he's good enough to make. So basically, I think Dort can be one of the better 3 and D players in the league. They also have Daisius Bailey, who has been underwhelming in the second season as he's been averaging 12 points and seven rebounds, shooting 39% from the field and 29% from three. But despite his struggles, I still think he can be a really good player in the next few seasons as a stretch big. He's also a pretty good ball handler for his position and he shows a lot of signs that he could be really good in certain games. He just needs to be more consistent. Their center in Moses Bounds is a player who I think can potentially be very very good as he's a threatening lob target, an amazing rebounder, and a really good defender. As Moses has been getting consistent playtime, he has been playing even better. As in his last 9 games, he's been averaging 13 points and 12 rebounds along with nearly 2 blocks. And in those games, he scored 20 points and 16 rebounds in a game versus the Bulls and a 21 point and 23 rebounds game. Taken, Moses is only 22. He's going to be special. OKC also has Isaiah Roby who is a forward with a good handle and is a good floor spacer. He has a few quality games that show that he could be a solid player and he's only 21 so he has plenty of time to improve. They have a young point guard in Theo Maladon who has looked like a good passer in certain games and he's only 19 so he has plenty of time to improve as well. Ty Jerome has looked like he could be a knockdown shooter as he's been shooting 44% from 3 on 5 attempts. So in my opinion, this just shows that OKC is one of the better franchises at finding talent because they have found so much players that were late picks or even undrafted and now those same players are coming back and looking like they could be solid. The Thunder make teams like the Timberwolves, Kings and others look stupid with all their smart moves. The second reason I think the Thunder have a bright future is because of how many draft picks they have. The Thunder have 17 first round draft picks in the next 6 seasons and they have 17 second rounders in the next 6 seasons. There's a legitimate chance that they could get a star in the draft along with a bunch of other good supporting players on top of what they currently have. And don't forget, the Thunder still have all of their picks and this year they'll most likely get a top 8 pick in the draft and which is very valuable. As as this is one of the more star studded and deep drafts over the past few seasons and with how well the Thunder have proven that they can find talent, I have no doubt in my mind that they will make the right selection. The only problem is that the Thunder have so much young talent and they will have so much young talent the next few seasons that many of their players will have to be moved and that they will need some veterans on their teams as well because you can't just have a team full of young players. So I'm kind of curious to see how they will handle all these quality players on their team but at the end of the day that's not a terrible problem to have. If a star player goes on the trade block the Thunder are the team most stocked with assets to land them which can be very valuable for them when they're ready to be a playoff team. 
OKC has executed their rebuild to perfection and a big reason for that is with their stacking of draft picks. The third reason I think the Oklahoma City Thunder have a bright future is because they have a player who I think can be one of the better guards in the league. As they have Shea Gilgis Alexander who is one of the more underrated young players in the league as I think he could be a top 15 player. This season, he's been putting up four, 24 points, 6 assists, and 5 rebounds, shooting 51% from the field and 41% from 3. You have to realize that Shea is playing this well on a bad team. Some would argue that Shea is only putting up these crazy numbers because he's on a bad team, and some would say it's meaningless stats, but I would only agree with the statement if Shea was being inefficient, because if he was, it would mean he was struggling to be the number one option, but him having a 62% true shooting percentage is elite, and you have to realize that every night, the defense is focused towards him, and he has no secondary elite shot creator on his team, so he creates most of the things on his team, and I think if he plays with other stars, he can have similar production and he might even be better than he currently is playing. In my opinion, Shea has just as high potential as guys like John Morant, Trey Young, De'Aaron Fox, and others. I think Shea could be a superstar, but I think it's more likely for him to be on the level of a player who is better than just an all-star, but he's not necessarily good enough to be put in that superstar top 7 to 8 player level. But when he was drafted, I didn't think he would be good this fast, so he could surprise me again. I'm not counting him out. The fourth reason I think the OKC Thunder have a bright future is because to be a successful franchise, you have to have more than just talent on your roster. Because if that was the case, the Minnesota Timberwolves would be good. You have to have a smart general manager who knows what he's doing, and the Thunders have just that in Sam Presti, who in my opinion is one of the best GMs in the league when it comes to making smart trades and just finding the talent. As he made the Paul George trade, which looks absolutely genius looking back at it, and he made the Russell Westbrook trade, which looks extremely smart. And it looks like in both of those trades, they got more than they probably should have gotten. Since if you look at what Houston did with the James Harden trade, the Rockets got way less for a better player. So the fact that the Thunder didn't have so much, the Thunder have a lot of young talent and assets along with one of the better GMs in the league makes me think that there's no way they don't become a championship contender within the next five to seven seasons. No way, man. Anyways, guys, that's it for the video. Let me know if you agree or disagree with what I said in this video. Drop a like on this video to help my channel grow. Subscribe to my channel if you want weekly NBA content and tell me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers. And comment on this video to start a conversation with me as I respond to all of my comments. And I'm out.